Hey guys, Crypto Luke here, back with another video showing you how to set up your BitConnect wallet on Windows. This is just a short video showing you how to set up a BitConnect wallet and also if you're getting the zero active connections error on the wallet so far, how to get that fixed and it's a dead easy fix so it shouldn't be too bad for you to get set up. So first of all we need to download the BitConnect wallet. I will put all the links to everything I'm discussing uh, in the description down below but it's a dead easy one to get to get started with. So first of all you need to go to bitconnectcoin.co and click on the download link. Once you've downloaded that, I've, I've already done it so I'm not, I'm not just going to skip this bit. So once you've downloaded just all you've got to do is install uh, the platform and then once it's installed you'll see the BitConnect QT icon here. So you double click on the icon and you will see that the wallet loads up. If you are getting the zero connections issue here, this is the sort of the thing that I, I'm getting as well, and it's kind of it's a really easy fix. But if you are getting this connection, all you need to actually do is close down the BitConnect wallet, and if you, I'll put this in the description down below as well because it makes it a little bit easier. But if you put percentage app data percentage in the search bar in the bottom left hand corner, if you're on Windows 10, and click sort of search for that. You'll then need to find your BitConnect folder here. Once you're in your BitConnect folder, you'll see a file that says bitconnect.config. Now, this is kind of the hardest bit, but it's dead easy anyway. Also, in the links down below, you'll see a link to download a bitconnect.config file. So this is a file that I found, which basically, once you've copied this over, it will allow the connection issue to sort of rectify itself. So all you have to literally do is copy it over, and away we go. So let's just quickly copy. So what we do is we copy it over like this and click replace the file in its destination and it will then copy over fine. So now that should all be done. So what we then need to do is double click on BitConnect, the BitConnect QT wallet and it should load up like that. So you'll now see in the bottom corner it says one active connection to BitConnect work, network. For some reason you do sort of get like a sort of a low sort of connection there to begin with but it does start picking up over time so something to bear in mind with this sort of wallet it does take a bit of time to actually sync with the network so you kind of have to just leave it there once it's sort of synced up it you know it doesn't take this long sort of moving forward i have read a few places that it can take up to 24 hours so it might be a case of just sort of downloading it doing these all these steps and then literally just leaving it till sort of the, the blockchain sort of catched up with itself and, and done all that sort of thingamajigs. Uh, according to this, there's not that much much more to go. I have sort of had this program for a few hours, so uh, it's possible that you know I am a little bit ahead of where you will be. But like I say, nice and easy, you literally leave that running and away you go. So that's basically how to get set up and get you know get get ready to start accepting BitConnect coins into your own personal wallet on your computer. To start receiving coins, all you actually do is hit receive coins. As you'll see, I've already set up two addresses. You can just click add new address, put a label in there. This could be anything, so let's just put Luke. And in you go. Nice and easy. So that's just a quick video, guys. Hopefully that helps if you're having the issues with the zero active connections part of the BitConnect QT wallet. And uh, you're good to go. So if you like my video, please subscribe down below. Also, I will be doing a BitConnect sort of video of how to get set up and everything very, very shortly. So keep an eye out for that. I try and get at least one video a day out and uh, hopefully you become part of the Crypto Loop Network. So I will speak to you all again soon. Cheers, guys.